Now the way I tend to paint is by having my main painting surface, which is behind this painting here, okay, on an angle. So it's all on a board on an angle. That's all it simply is. So the beauty about that is that that brings the board or the painting closer to me. I'm not bending my back as much. And it also allows the paint when I'm putting large washes on, kind of soak down the paper if I want that effect. If not, I'll just put something underneath the piece of board I'm using, like this piece here, just to make sure that it's nice and flat. So that's why I tend to have a board on an angle because I say easier on the back and also for effects with the washes. So for example, if you think about the board itself, okay, and just get a piece of paper in there. So imagine your painting surface, which is the main board. All right. Excuse my drawing, I'm not an artist. Oh, hang on. Yes, I am. So then you've got your picture in the middle, but you've also got a couple of props underneath with feet on, for example, and your table is there. So this kind of distance that we've got here is pro probably equivalent as a guess anyway. Imagine a house brick on its side like that, okay? I don't know, let's put some dots in there. Imagine a house brick on its side, and that's under the back of the board. That's roughly the kind of height that I've got on my board here. So I'll give you some general idea, that underneath there, okay? So that's what I tend to do, I'm terrible drawing, <laughs> that's terrible, is to have my board on a bit of an angle when I'm painting, just to give you some ideas. And uh, they are the reasons why. Now if you've got any questions, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And um, until next time around, bye bye for now. If you'd like to see more watercolour painting tips, head to patreon.com forward slash the Devon Artist and you'll see my full list of step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to paint wildlife in watercolour. Where you get also the project photo, the outline drawing for that month's project as well, and even a step-by-step -step handwritten or hand-typed by me full PDF on that particular current month's project. So come and join me and let's get painting together. And don't forget to click on like, subscribe and share. And please leave a comment down below as well. I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts and find out what you've been up to on your painting adventures. So until next time, bye bye for now.